this is Christelle Martinet and um, I'm here just here to talk a little bit about an offer that I decided to put out and it has to do with um, soul therapy and a soul therapy session. Everyone asks me, well, what do you do there? What, what is it all about and why does it cost so much? So, um, well, why is it expensive? It requires extreme meditative states and it takes so much time. I work with a protocol, I um, find the soul's origin, uh, the condition it is in, how it has come to that state. Um, through past life choices, I can pinpoint exactly in what lifetime and also how it has played out in those lifetimes. And also, the most important thing is that it's possible to understand what kinds of blocks and, and restrictions are in place. Um, and the ultimate goal is, most importantly, is that I'm able to clear them for you. Now, I invite you to go read about uh, on my website um, to let, well, first of all, uh, why am I doing this? Because I think it's important to know the value of this type of work. So uh, before you decide on something like this, I invite you to go to my website, multiplevoices.net, and read under what they say, and read the comments of people who I've worked with um, uh, doing soul realignment sessions and soul therapeutic sessions. Now, what is the price? I'm dropping it 25%. So the full price is $5.97. And this can be payable in one, um, in, at once, one time. There's a PayPal button for that. Or in two installments of $300 each. You can um, find one button for that, a PayPal button, on both my Christelle Martinet site dot com and multiplevoices.net. Thank you for listening in and to allow me to have this little plug. Now off to the readings. Hello Libra, this is Christelle Martinet with another weekly reading starting the, um, the 15th of February. And this week I have with me an angel tarot deck. It's an Italian deck that was um, produced in 2007, so it's fairly recent, by two um, Italian artists, Arturo Pico and Giordano Berti. And uh, what the angel tarot stands for, um, just to clarify and couch my reading with this, is um, not uh, in terms of the forces of evil against the forces of good, but in terms of messengers that they are and what they can tell us as messengers. I have pre-shuffled this, but I will again shuffle. I have my um, Vera Sibila cards here and then a um, bag of runes, tiger's eyes, runes that seem to be grounded and help with um, these tarot, this tarot. Let me show you the cards. Um, the first has fallen out is the Fool. Then we have our Queen of Cups. Then we have a Four of Cups. Our Emperor. The devil. Mean looking son of a gun, isn't he? <laughs> then our page of swords right next to the devil. The devil's is the focus card here, Libra. The Empress 
well. Now, how nice is that? And the nine of coins, the nine of coins. The last, the exit card is the four of coins. Right, we have, uh, to, to give you an impression of, of the spread, we have the emperor right above the empress. Now, this is a couple here, Libra. The devil is the focus card, yes. And the empress knights the page of swords. Now, this tells me that for many of you who are coupled, it is the female component or the female role who wants to get to the bottom of something. And she will. Now, on the other hand, we have the male of the role who is truly trying to work, put money aside, uh, do th what men do and try to, you know, put food on the table and, and he is just filling out his role, okay? Now, they are in contrast because one, the female component, the role, does not care very much about those, you know, the money. She's not interested in that. She wants something. She wants something more. And the male, on the other hand, doesn't understand why she can't understand. Now, of course, you know, it's, it sounds as if I'm talking about the age-old difficulty be between man, men and women, okay? That's, it may seem that way. But we, what do we have here? We've got the devil right in the middle. And the devil is always a card of um, repeated well, it's a card of obsessions, they say, you know. It's a card of, um, of the things that you hang on to repeatedly, even when they go wrong. And this entails those to that couple. That's why, you know, I'm going to spread things around. What do we have here, though? We have this lovely nine of coins. And the nine of coins is mirroring the queen of cups at the top. Now, again... As in another reading, this couple has everything. These people have everything. They have everything in their life. But it's, it's as if life itself and the everyday ins and outs of life is bringing them to just forget what life is all about and what love is all about. And the cards here are suggesting that we need to remove ourselves of the burden of everyday life's little, the small stuff. We need to not sweat the small stuff. Now, we have two fours. We have the four of um, cups and the four of, of um, pentacles, and they both talk about difficulty in um, the relationship and in um, ec the economic side of the relationship, but I'm not seeing the four of, so of, of, of uh, pentacles as difficulty in work or activity. I'm seeing them as both related to the relationship here. Now, of course, we have the beginning. We, we have this joker. The fool is the, excuse me, is the entrance card. And there is a wild diagonal here from the upper left to the lower right. The fool, the devil, and the four of, of, um, of uh, coins. And for many of you, this speaks to, um, uh, you know, gambling gambling and, and um, the difficulty you may have with that issue. Um, but it also speaks of a beginning of, in any case, 
you, Libra, becoming fossilized, and I mean fossilized, I mean in, entrenched in a situation that you cannot get out of. Now, um, Libra, you really have to, you know, come into your own and, and make a stand for yourself and, you know, put up your boundaries when things like this happen. And whoever you are, whichever you are, the female, you know, the emperor, the empress in, in this situation, you really need to take a stand, a stance, and, and you really need to speak out for yourself instead of being or choosing to be the victim. Now, I'm going to take the Veracipilla cards here on this diavolo, this devil here, right away. Hmm, okay. Um, and it's speaking to the males, okay? It's speaking to the males. And um, here, the Gran Signore, right? the, 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 our, our important person here. Um, well, no, I, I can't, I take that back. It's not speaking to the males. It's speaking to uh, Libra, you Libra out there the most important person in your life, you are seeing that they're losing their mind. Not because, well, in part, yes, in part because of jealousy, but they are reacting in a manner that is just not, not justifiable in your eyes. It just cannot be justified. Um, and these are both men and women. I'm going to take uh, three cards on the Four of Cups. Okay, the Four of Cups. Uh, all right. Um, you're being, you're, okay, this is uh, La Morte, Death, uh, Prisoner, Prigione, and um, Prigione, the Prison, and Ligerezza, um, Lightness of Being here. And what we're seeing is that you feel as if you are being subject to a situation in a relationship that is just overwhelming you with <laughs> static nature. It's static. It's static. You don't seem to be able to make it go forward, backward. You can't seem to break it up. And, you know, uh, this we are reminded that we have free will, okay. Let me take the um, um, the runes to see what they can tell us. For you, Libra. Okay. First of all, um, the, the, the concentration here is a, um, is a message that's telling us that as time goes on, you'll find that your, um, what you thought at first was a very healthy and very wealthy relationships because you both enriched each other, you'll find that quickly that will be changing. And it won't be, it, it will take time, okay? It will take time before that happens, of course. But the signs are pointing to a negative um, development. And what is interesting is that the runes are also saying, however, that it would behoove you to um, put up your little barriers, you know, put up boundaries, because you'll be more successful in terms of interacting with another partner 
if this partnership ends. In any case, you need to know how to put up your boundaries, even for this partnership here. Um, what's interesting uh, to see in this casting is that um, there are two signs that uh, say that there's a, a lack of fertility, right? There's a lack of fertility. You, if you continue uh, going on, on this route, route the way you, the way the communication is between you, the way that you both have different mindsets, if you continue in that manner, not only will it be a complete failure, but it will be drawn out too, too far in time, and it will, um, it will hinder you from truly being happy, okay? I hope this was of some help, Libra friends, and have a great week. Namaste, my friends.